Hi everyone, it's Miss Anna, and I'm here to read I Wish I Was a Monarch Butterfly. I know as we walk around, we'll see lots of butterflies outside. Here's our monarch. We've got some orange and some light kind of peachy coloring going on, some white specks and some black. Be a very pretty look, it's kind of doing some little bit of pollination there, if you can see that little flower. What if you wished you were a monarch butterfly? Then you become a monarch. Could you fly like a monarch, eat like a monarch, start your life as a caterpillar? And would you want to find out? Let us find out. Here is our monarch butterfly. Let's find out. Where would you live? Monarchs spend their summers in the United States and Canada. They live in grasslands and gardens where wildflowers grow. Milkweed is their favorite plant. Remember, you don't ever want to pull those weeds out. Those are good weeds. They help with the monarchs. In the fall, the monarchs fly south to spend winter in California and in Mexico. Hmm. Would you like to live here? Looks pretty beautiful, doesn't it? Look at all the flowers and the monarchs are loving being on the flowers. Getting some sweet nectar. How would your life begin? Every monarch butterfly starts life as a tiny, tiny little egg. In spring and summer, monarch moms lay eggs on milkweed plants. Then they fly away. Here we go. Here's our little egg. See the egg? Here's our baby caterpillar hatching. In just a few days, the egg hatches and a small caterpillar crawls out. It will become a butterfly, but it does not have wings just yet. Let's see, not just yet. I don't know if you can see there's our caterpillar. Just starting off at life. Mom has dropped it off on the milkweed so that it can feed on the milkweed as it hatches. Would, what would you eat as a caterpillar? Monarch caterpillars eat only milkweed leaves. They eat so much and grow so fast that they must shed their skin when it feels too tight. I wish I could do that, but nope, doesn't work so well for us. Shedding means they crawl out of a thin layer of skin. Yeah, this caterpillar is leaving its small skin behind. Do you shed clothes as you grow bigger? Well, I guess as my clothes get tighter, I probably shed my clothes. <laughs> That's really what I would say. There you go. It's definitely not a hungry caterpillar caterpillar because that caterpillar, we know, ate through an apple and ate through a strawberry and some candy. These monarchs only eat milkweed leaves. How would growing up change you? After two weeks, 14 days, of growing, a caterpillar is about the size of an index finger. There we go. They have a little demonstration there. I don't know if you see that. There's their caterpillar on an index finger. There you go. Would you like to grow up inside a chrysalis? Hmm, I don't think so. But you know what? It could be a good nap time. I think I might like to sleep. To sleep a little bit in that chrysalis, that might be nice. When a caterpillar is ready to change into a butterfly, it grows a hard shell. The shell is called a chrysalis. It hangs from a leaf or a twig. Big changes are happening. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar will become a monarch butterfly. In about two weeks, look at that. We have this here. Slowly coming out of its chrysalis. It's pretty amazing. When the butterfly breaks through its hard shell of the chrysalis, its wings are soft and wet. When the wings dry, the monarch can fly. How will you change as you grow up? That's a very good question. Would you eat, what would you eat as a butterfly? 
Hmm, very interesting. Adult monarchs don't eat leaves the way caterpillars do. They feed only on sweet liquid from milkweed and other flowers. This liquid is called nectar. Do you sip juice through a straw? Sometimes a paper straw is best, but yes, sometimes I do. A monarch sips flower nectar with a thin tube called a proboscis. The proboscis is not a tongue. It is the butterfly's mouth. Very interesting. I'm sure I'm probably not pronouncing that right. There we go. There goes our butterfly. Drinking some nectar. How would you wash up? Hmm, interesting question. Monarchs don't need to take a bath, but they do sunbathe to warm up. Butterflies need to be a, in a warm area in order to fly. I did not know that. Butterflies spread their wings to soak up the sun's warmth. This is called basking. Would you like to stay clean without taking a bath? I could tell you my daughter would love to stay clean without taking a bath. I kind of enjoy that. Shower helps me to wake up a little bit. I kind of enjoy that. How would you talk? Let's see, I want to make sure that I show you guys this picture. I don't know if I showed you this picture. Here's our monarch basking in the sun. I don't know if I showed you that picture. All right, now we can talk about how we talk. Monarchs do not make noises. They communicate with color. A monarch's bright colors tell other animals, I'm poisonous. Eating a monarch will make an animal feel sick. Again, information I didn't know. Pretty interesting. Then it won't want to eat another. Oh, that is very good. I had no idea. Where would you sleep? Hmm. Outside, obviously. Monarchs rest in trees or bushes at night. In the morning, butterflies bask in sunlight to warm up and start a new day. This might be, this is probably where he slept last night. Look at that. Where would you travel? The last monarchs to change from caterpillars to butterflies at the end of the summer migrate south. Monarchs can fly over 2,000 miles on their fragile wings. They face many dangers while migrating. It is a long and tiring trip. Have you ever gone on a long trip? Here they are all flying all over the place. Most North American monarchs migrate all the way to Mexico. Thousands of monarchs huddle together on tree branches in Mexico's mountain forests. They stay put all winter long. They do not fly or eat. In spring, they are ready to migrate north again. Could you sit still all winter? I don't know. I guess I could. If I had some good food, I probably could sit still all winter. Some good food and some good television. I think I probably could. Binge watching. Being a monarch butterfly could be cool for a while, but do you want to grow wings? Eat only nectar? Migrate for thousands of miles? Luckily, you don't have to. We're not monarchs. We're lucky. You're you. All right, there we go. I think I forgot to tell you that this author is Jennifer Beauvais. Very good story for us to read today. Now, next time you guys go out on your walk, go look around and take a look and see if you guys can find some butterflies. Remember, the orange ones with the black are the monarchs. So look for one just like this. It's pretty awesome. All right, have a great day. Talk to you guys later.